Okay, this video is going to be on circulation of blood through the heart. So let's draw the heart. I'm going to draw a simplified version of the heart where it's going to look rather boxy. And we'll divide it up into the chambers. Like so we'll have our right atrium up here and our left atrium. And then our right ventricle here and left ventricle here. Now I'm going to modify this a little bit because to me it doesn't look that much like a heart. to what a heart looks like. So now what I'm going to do is draw the blood vessels that are going to bring blood to the right atrium. Now we're going to have one up here which is going to be the superior vena cava and then I'll draw the inferior vena cava over here. Deoxygenated blood is going to come to the right atrium from the upper body and the lower body through these two blood vessels. The right atrium will pass blood through a tricuspid valve. So I drew three lines here to represent three cusps of the tricuspid valve. Blood will pass through that valve and go into the right ventricle. Now when the right ventricle contracts it's going to send that blood out through the pulmonary trunk. And then the pulmonary trunk is going to branch into the right and left pulmonary arteries which would bring deoxygenated blood to the lungs to get oxygen. After the blood has picked up oxygen at the lungs, it's going to come back to the left atrium through the pulmonary veins. This one right here, we'll call this the right pulmonary vein because it's going to collect blood from this side. And these right here, these would be the left pulmonary veins and they would collect blood from this side. That oxygenated blood will collect in the left atrium, pass through the bicuspid valve, and I'll represent the bicuspid valve with two lines to represent the two cusps. This bicuspid valve is also known as the mitral valve. Blood passes through that bicuspid valve into the left ventricle and when the left ventricle contracts it sends blood through the aorta to the body. The blue pen will represent deoxygenated blood and the red pen will represent oxygenated blood. Deoxygenated blood from the body is going to come to and collect in the right atria. So let's write from body. And then blood passes from the right atrium to the right ventricle through the tricuspid valve here. And then we'll exit the right ventricle through the pulmonary trunk to go to the lungs to pick up oxygen. And this is how blood flows through the right side of the heart. The left side of the heart, specifically the left atrium, will collect oxygenated blood from the lungs. And then from the left atrium, the oxygenated blood will pass through the bicuspid valve into the left ventricle. And then from the left ventricle, that oxygenated blood will pass out through the aorta to the body. Now as you can see right here, the heart acts like two pumps. We've got one pump on this side collecting oxygenated blood from the lungs and sending that oxygenated blood to the body. 
the pump on this side is going to collect deoxygenated blood from the body and then pump that deoxygenated blood to the lungs to pick up oxygen. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.